Good morning everyone and what a morning it is. Spray trucks here this morning to spray out these paddocks. It's got a bit of regrowth which is good. It's a heavy dew too. A bit cold this morning. Pretty cool spray unit though. Land Cruiser, and then it's got like auto uh, nozzle shut off. It's going to say auto row. All GPS. A little bit of drift this morning. The wind is starting to, to pick up just a little bit. You can see the trees moving, although up here it does get a lot more wind than, than other parts of the farm. It's quite exposed. Well I actually had to chuck my beanie on this morning too, it was a bit cold and it's getting nippy again now, just that wind's picking up a little bit more. But this paddock here, it actually grows quite nice grass down the bottom here. It's sort of clayey, holds on just that little bit. There's a lot of willow weed, I know I mucked up this year, I should have sprayed it. But I'm going to have to try and knock it next year with a bit of batten in the spring, which, which I'll do. It does die over winter, so it doesn't look so bad, but yeah, just it, it seeded, so it's going to be a lot come back next year. But when Darcy was here I, I showed him this hillside because it just doesn't grow a lot of grass and I have sort of undersown it before, it didn't really work and we had a look underneath, there went a lot of bugs under there so what I've done is I've just sprayed from this hillside here so from this drain up I've just sprayed it and I'm just going to re-drill it so I'll just fence off along here and the cows can still have this break here because pretty much nothing grows there anyway so I thought why not try something new, hopefully it pays off or, or it works, at least get something new in there. Maybe it's just matted with like a heap of thatchy summer grass, I don't know, hopefully the drill can get through it. But then you look at it and you think, oh, it doesn't look too bad. And then you get big patches of like this yarrow here. And there's a few other weeds around. But I was sort of second guessing myself whether it actually needs spraying out. But then thinking back all through spring and summer, I just wanted to do it. So I'm just going to go ahead and, and go with my gut. How cool is that though? Just use one boom when you've got a little, little area to do. Makes sense, I guess. But it's called section control when it shuts off the, the individual nozzles. Cool setup. And for the people that like their black and white cows, some nice ones here. See Calvin's and Readers. See our boundary here just runs up there and then back up that hedge line. Well it's great to get that done so it should start to change colour hopefully over the next sort of week. I'm not sure when you when you drill it, I'll have to talk to Finches and see what they recommend but whether you just come in once once it's sort of had enough time to get down into the root and it's still a bit green maybe drill it then so it'll die off or wait till it just dies off real well and then come in and drill it so not too sure but we'll soon find out. And I'm back so Joel's just on its way, it is about a week after we sprayed those paddocks over there so we're going to have a look at them soon. But the drill's going to come in here, the seed is just in the shed there. So probably just fill it up here. I think it's about 5 hectares. It is 5 hectares. 5 bags there plus a little bit extra for him or her. Uh, and we'll just fill it up here and I, I guess they'll calibrate while, while we're filling as well. Looks like it's the horse drill again. 
But that doesn't look like it's Jackie. Might be Curtis. I think it is Curtis. And the half a bag for the overlap. Gonna leave that bag unopened uh, and only use it if he needs it. But it's actually quite a long way up the top there, and there's not a heck of a big platform to, to stand on. There is an auger out the back here, but that's for your fertilizer because this back tank is bigger than the front one, obviously, because you'd put more fur in than seed. Not putting fertilizer in today, though. It's calibrating, look at that, that's a heck of a good system. It's like a bag in there, and you just weigh it. Usually you got to put them in a set of scales and then tip them back in. That looks pretty good. Pretty easy. But three sets of discs, or one disc, two disc. This third one here is just for uh, for the seat, uh, for the furt, sorry. For Curtis was just telling me. So there's only half the amount of furt tubes that there is seed tubes because these discs um, put the fertilizer like bang in the middle of in here so not in the line of the seed but next to it pretty cool setup packer wheels and more packer wheels behind the seed cool unit that is cool 2.79 kilos see how far out the drill is He just was drilling annual before at 20 kilos, so there'll be a little bit of calibration, I suppose. A couple of these and should be bang on. So I'm gonna go a bag of hectare or 25 kilos. I think that's probably about, about right for permanent. I just noticed too, because it's got that little hopper up there, and that's for the slug bait, and they put it right at the end here. So on the Allen drill, it goes out the front before the seed, and on here it goes out behind, which I'd quite like, because it doesn't dig it into the ground good system these gateways are a little bit too small for these big gear but looks like he'll get through there all right so this is that hillside that I did it's not very big at all but the grass has started to die you can clearly see there it's coming up all right but yeah it really really makes those patches that are matted stand out so hopefully the grass is going to go through it Beautiful. Well, it does a pretty good job. Hardly even know it's been there. Be seed in there somewhere. Like I said, I'm pretty terrible at finding it. He's just run through there. It looks pretty tidy, eh? Not a lot of uh, worked up soil with it. Just looking over there, so those are the other paddocks. You can see they're browned off from here. They look real good. There's just a few bulls there. I need to go and move them, put them somewhere. Come girls, boys. Come fellas. Up again. Just been tidying up the edge of the race here. There's, there's a bit of grass there for them, so. Need to put them somewhere. put the bulls in this paddock for now they can eat around the edges where it wasn't sprayed bit of a niggly paddock this one with all those trees but once it gets it done then it'll be easy the cream 
nice square paddocks. Well, you can see the spray's certainly sort of killed all the grass, it's browning off nicely. I gave Bill's a ring after I sprayed and I was like, when can I go in with the drill? And he said pretty much in a couple of days, so sort of thinking maybe three to four days once the sprays got down into the roots it'd be fine enough. Um, but it's about seven days now, so I was trying to get it drilled on the Friday, couldn't make it, so today's Monday. Um, and hopefully sprays got into, I don't know what you call, weeds like this. So hopefully that'll start to brown off because that's what I was sort of trying to kill. And the thistles will start to brown off in a bit too. But I think it looks really good. It should be good having two productive paddocks again. Can't wait to see what like this is like in the spring or in the winter. I'll be able to get the first graze off it in the winter at some point. See too with the under sowing, none of the discs are down. It's just these cutters at the back. Just to minimise any soil disturbance. That looks pretty good for direct drilling. Looks real good. There we go, you can see the seed there. Stands out. Just on the last paddock now. What a beautiful day though. You can't see prong here, just straight through there, but man, it's hot though, again. But as I was having a look at this paddock, it's had another good die down. Um, but some of these plants like these, dock leaf, that's looking a bit yellow, so that's dying. Um, dandelions, see like that one actually, that's looking a bit yellow in the middle too, so starting to work, they're curling up. They should come up mint though, these paddocks should come up real nice. There's another weedy patch I was just walking through, but see all that stuff's like dead already really. I don't know what this is called, but it doesn't seem to uh, seem to have killed that, whatever it is, which isn't real good. Maybe it'll maybe it just takes a little bit longer. Like there's a big patch of it. I don't know. Don't knock over my bike. Please. What are you doing? Move these fellas later, they can stay in here. I don't know if they're moving for Curtis though. There was one that was holding them up before. Trying to take on the tractor. What are you doing? Well Curtis is all done, I just shot back, had a little bit of lunch and I'm just so surprised at the job that Jules done. Just looking up at the hill you can see where he's come up and down so you can see the, the runs but just the minimal disturbance that it's sort of created just really impressed. Now all I need is just a little bit of rain to kick it away there is a chance maybe tomorrow we'll get some or the next day, it won't be much if any, but uh, 10 mils certainly wouldn't go amiss. So I think the cows have got about 45 hectares or their milking platform this herd, so taking this out, it's about 10%, so it's quite a bit. Um, we've got two more months till the end of the season, so not long to go, and these really needed to get done. The paddocks just weren't performing much at all, so hopefully I'm sort of looking ahead for next season. But I hope you enjoyed today's video guys, I'll hopefully be back in like 10 days time and we'll be able to see something germinating, fingers crossed, but until then, see you next time.